Hey there, this is Akshan and welcome back to a new video of the Start Fundamentals course. In the last part, we had studied about classes and objects and we are going to continue this with the same example and we are going to learn about constructors, right? So in simple terms, what is a constructor? Constructor is the first function that runs when your object is created, right? So over here, as let me give you a simple idea of what we created in the last example. So in the last video, so we created a simple class mathematics and it has four functions, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And all these four functions takes two parameters, n1 and n2, that is number one and number two, right? And I create a simple object of my mathematics class, define these two numbers and call these four functions using object, right? Now, as I'm just telling, a constructor is the first function when your object is created. So where my object is being created? Over here, my object is created. And as you can see, this is, this something looks like a function only, right? This is this is like a function. Function also has uh, this uh, circular brackets and this uh, instance, when I'm creating an instance of a class, when I'm creating an object of a class, that time also we can see this circular brackets. This is the point at which my constructor function is being called. My first function that runs when my object of a class is being created is running right over here, right? By default, constructor, you can see there is no constructor in it. There is no function in it, right? So we, it's it's quite like it's invisible, but you can also define it. It's currently not visible, but it's there, right? And what is the function name of that constructor? It's the, the name of the constructor and your class is same, right? So if I have to define a constructor, which is currently not visible, you have to define it something like this, mathematics, This is how your constructor looks. This is my constructor. Previously, it was not visible, but it was there, right? Because I did not have to do anything in the constructor, that's why it was not visible. And you don't need to define it if you don't want to do in something in the constructor function, right? So this is my constructor function. Constructor function, right? And in this function, if I just say uh, print class is created or object is created, then this function is going to run or you are going to see this uh, statement when I'm going to run this, right? So if I just run this and you're going to first of all see this line being printed, object is created and then you will be see, seeing the results of these four functions, right? Because this is the first function that runs when your object is created. And you can do anything. Let's say my class has certain variables. Uh, let's say these n1 and n2, I don't want to define it over here. I have these two variables over here. Let's say int n1 equal to zero and int n2 equal to zero. So these are the initial values. Now what I want to do is using constructor, I want to update these two values. Let's say instead of updating my n1 and n2 over here, I'm going to cut this and my this constructor can also take parameters like a usual function, right? So let's say int n1 and int n2 and in this constructor function, I'm going to update my n1 and n2 or reinitialize my n1 and n2. So I'm going to say this dot n1. So if I use this, that means I want to access the variable of this class. So what is this class? This is the mathematics class. What is the variables in, what are the variables inside this class? N1 and N2. So at this point, I'm accessing N1, right? So this dot N1 is equal to N1. So now what is this N1? This is this N1, which I've got as a parameter. But if I want to access the global N1, which is a part of my class, which is a class variable, not of local variable, global variable, then I need to use this dot N1. This means the current class in which I'm currently in, right? So this dot n1 is equal to n1. This dot n2 is equal to n2, right? Now my n1 will become whatever I've got through my parameter and n2 will become whatever I've got through my parameter. Now this n1 and n2, this mathematics is going to need these two variables, right? So I'm going to give these two variables, n1 let's say 17, n2 let's say 34 or let's say n1 is my 34 and n2 is my 17, right? And then I don't need to get these uh, variables in every function. I can directly use this n1 and n2. So I just can remove this 
uh, n1 into functional parameters right i can just remove them and over here i need to write this dot n1 plus this dot n2 then that will mean that i'm going to access these n1 and n2 so this dot n1 uh, plus this dot n2 over here also this dot n1 minus this dot n2 over here this dot n1 multiplied by this dot n2 i hope it is clear if you have any doubt you can reach out to me in the comment section this dot n1 upon this dot n2 right then i can remove uh, these functional parameters i don't need to provide any functional parameter now they are going to access my class variable so this is the advantage of constructor that if you want to initialize some class variable you can do it if you want to run something uh, when your class object is created you can do it right so this we did something like this right i can just run it and let's see what we get we are going to get the same result nothing changed right let's run it so you can see the exact same result we have got no change because it's the same thing we are using the same numbers just the case is we are not providing any parameters or we are not providing any uh, values from object uh, calling we are just uh, initializing them uh, in, through my constructor right so this is my constructor and this is called parameterized constructor if i don't provide any parameter that will become my default constructor or non-parameterized constructor but as i have provided some parameters to this constructor this is my parameterized constructor i hope i am clear right so this is my parameterized constructor this is my constructor function now one point to note you cannot have a default constructor and your parameterized constructor inside the same class right i cannot say this is one constructor and this is my second constructor like this i can have only uh, like i can have multiple constructors but you cannot have default constructor and your uh, uh, parameterized constructor inside the same class see you cannot have it so this is an error right the name unna uh, the name constructor is already defined i already have this constructor right so i cannot have another constructor like this right yes i can have another constructor like this you can have constructor another constructor like this define your class name dot you can say uh, con a constructor or you can have some name to this constructor this is also called a named constructor right so i can say named constructor this can also have some variables or it cannot have it's your choice and like this i can say this is my named constructor named constructor right so now my class has two constructor one is a simple parameterized constructor which takes two values uh, update the class variables and second is my named constructor now let's see what uh, what we get if we just run it let's see what we get so let's see it's taking some time because it's the browser it's taking long time let's see this should not take this much time let me just copy the code and refresh it and we have got a code if i just run it now yes we got the same result now if i just want to call this named constructor i can say mathematics dot named not like this over here itself over here dot named constructor and this named constructor does not take these two values right now if i'm going to run it this thing is not going to run that means my variables my n1 and n2 are not going to get updated right this function is going to run so whenever i'm going to uh, run these four functions then division is going to give some error because it is going to divide zero by zero right because my variables will stay zero zero they will they are not going to become 34 and 17 because i'm not calling this uh, uh parameterized constructor see i'm calling named constructor right so i'm going to for now i'm going to just comment this division result and if i just run it you are going to get this is a named constructor and zero 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 right i hope you got why we got zero 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 and why we got this is a named constructor i hope i was clear right so this was it guys i hope you like this constructor video till next part keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot